Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Well, you're out shopping, just stop on in the Bible Bistro. I know you're out shopping for Christmas, and if you are, let me just remind you that Daily Dose Radio has an app for your phone, either for your Android device or for your um, iPod, your Apple device, whatever your Apple device might be, whether it's an iPhone, an iPod, or um, an iPad. There is a there is an app in the Apple Store just for Daily Dose Radio, and you can go there. It's free. Get it, download it, put it on your device, and while you're out shopping. Well, you got fresh and delicious five-minute Bible study right there at your fingertips. Today, we're looking at verses 4 and 5. Kind of understand now the the need for David to pray this prayer. And we're going to look at 4 and 5 and understand the nature of the wicked and God's reaction to them. Then that helps us to understand why he prayed in verse 1, To you, O Lord, I call, deliver me. <laughs> Because there is no deliverance any place else. Notice verse 4, and I'm going to read you my translation. Give to them according to their works, and bow down their evil deeds. According to the work of their hands, give to them a return. Recompense them. For they give no consideration to the deeds of the Lord, or to the works of his hands. He will break them, and will not build them. Verses 4 and 5 tell us a lot about this prayer. First of all, let's just go back to the beginning. To you, O Lord, I call, deliver me. Do not be deaf to me, lest you are silent to me, and I become like those who go down into the pit. And we saw the pit in verse 3, those being drug away by the Lord. He's the victor in this battle, and he's dragging those conquered. And who are the ones that he's dragging? The wicked. Those workers of iniquity who speak peace to their neighbor, but in their heart is evil. And now notice verse 4, give to them according to their works. Now, if you just stopped right there, a lot of people would say, well, that's exactly what I want. I want the Lord to honestly judge my good deeds against everyone else. And if my good deeds are judged against everyone else, then certainly the Lord will accept me. And I will go stand before him in his presence. Friends, that is so false and that is so wrong that it's going to lead you to the pit. There is no deliverance according to works. Give them according to their works. Now, if if we just stop there, then it sounds kind of nice. Give them according to the works. But what's he going to give them? Look at the rest of verse 4. Bow down their evil deeds according to the work of their hands. Give to them a return, recompense them. This is not good. This is not safety. There is no hope here. All that is here, the recompense and the return for the work of the hands and the evil deeds is judgment. That's it. All we have here in verse 4 is works producing the judgment of God because there is evil in their deeds. They're workers of iniquity. They speak peace to their neighbor, but in their heart there's evil. Does that just describe somebody else? No, no, that describes us. That describes the human condition, which is why the the psalmist here is so intent on asking God for deliverance. We need to be like him. Oh, God, deliver me from my evil, from the wickedness that's in me, from the bloody hand that's in me, from the hypocrite that's in me, speaking peace, but having evil intent in my heart. And then notice, for they give no consideration to the deeds of the Lord or to the works of his hands. That is parallel to what we had there in three, those who speak peace to their neighbor, but evil is in their heart. Here it's not directed to the neighbor, but it's directed to the Lord. So we see another piece here, another piece of the description of the wickedness of men. Not only are they hypocritical, but they care nothing for what the Lord has done or what he said. And then we have that final piece there in 5, he will break them. Now, I have put in my translation in parentheses after he will break them, the word down. He will break them down. And then I have put in parentheses after the last phrase and not build them. 
I have put in parentheses the word up. So he will break them down, and he will not build them up. So the direction of these folks is down. God is going to do the work of breaking them down, not building them up. Because why? Because they give no consideration to his deeds or to the works of his hands. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verses 6 and 7 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.